Hi. Did you know that you can watch Last Podcast on the Left and Side Stories on our Patreon right now? Yes, that's patreon.com slash last podcast on the left. But over on TikTok, you can see the hottest, tightest, funniest clips from the show right there. It's TikTok. TikTok. It's at LP on the left. It's the same as our Instagram. You it's... already follow the Instagram. Why don't you go follow TikTok? But it's on TikTok. Yeah, because... Seeing is believing. Yep, that's right. So just go check it out. Watch it. Go send our podcast to China. I love TikTok. The crocodile is my favorite TikTok. That's the only one he knows. There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Laugh, you fucking pigs! We are allowed to laugh today. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. Let the laughter flow. (laughs) 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 Yes. All my wife and I do is laugh. Is yeah. that true? That's what she says. That's what she says. Everywhere we go, all we do is laugh. So is it all laughing or is it some giggling, some chuckling? No, full throated laughter all day long. Nothing but crushing. That's it. Wow. And That's then great. lovemaking. Uh huh. And then um, I obviously watch films. Yeah. And there's a <laughs> game there has tape. to be a series of crying, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, different. You balance yeah, yeah, it out. yeah. Also, yeah. yeah. No one ever says that. When you go to a home, you say, all you must do is laugh. You also, uh, that also should, you should know a lot of times you're also crying. Most of the time you're also crying. So, yeah. Emma Immer, I hope we get Louisiana accent, Henry and Otter of Mardi Gras today. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Mardi Gras. Tuesday. Emma, it's Royal Laundry. It's Royal Laundry. I got going out there. I open up the bayou. You have to go and get your old hell. Them bitches right now. They're sitting away to be to be taken up. <laughs> yeah. The the bishops are in the way of getting taken up. No, no, we're out of buying you now. We're going down to buy you now. Uh, serving <laughs> cunt squash says Marcus is my lesbian aunt. Oh, that's nice. That's you. a really good thing. I'm, I'm 41. I have no other choice. I'm sorry. This what do you is, mean? This the way this is just the way it's going to be. You don't look like a lesbian aunt. You look more like a lesbian aunt before. Thank you. I yeah. think that you look like a, a standard man. A standard man. You know what? I've been waiting my entire life for someone to say that. For I, someone to say, Marcus Parks, now there's a standard man. You look like it. You don't look like, you know, you don't have the... Well, you got to get you one of their haircuts. Wait till we get to this makeover, though, which is Ooh. on its way. But it's like, you do the thing. I like the... I was talking about this with Natalie. I don't know what age the women get that haircut where it's this cage, okay. and then it goes up. Oh, the Peggy Bundy. The, no, the, the I want to talk to your manager. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like this in the big like, spikes. I don't even know how they get this look. Well, well, the show, in the I, 90s. well I have to have you know, I talked to Miguel last week, <laughs> and maybe he didn't understand. But it's like literally, like I don't know where this comes from. I don't know why. <laughs> Jim Strum, first time on Patreon. About time I pay you fools. Yeah, thanks for your fucking money. Welcome. Thanks for your fucking money. Uh, we've been banned off of YouTube for the last week, but hopefully we'll be back up soon. Yeah, I think we're back up by I now. I think we're back up. Back up tomorrow. To. And you think that this is going to help? Yeah. You think this shirt's going to help? Get the band back together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck it, man. What are they going to do? Sue me? It's, yes. It's legal now. It's Very legal. much. I don't know. I actually don't know. Because apparently they're still doing copyright strikes for people every once in a while. For uh For Steve Steve Willie? But I think it's a bot. Yeah, it's I think a bot. It's Russian they just haven't bots. turned it off yet. Russian bots. Big Herb says, "Fortunately, it's not another suit. It's fortunately it's not another serious UFO mandate. Don't think my sanity could survive another one of those." You're right. I've actually though struggled this week with my content, yeah, which you can't see, is because I found so much good new UFO stuff. Uh, well, why didn't you bring did, it in? Because I didn't want to use it. I'm going to save it for my next super serious UFO mandate. Yeah, what he's going to build it up soon. After the makeover. Yes. I'm going to... The goal is is that I'm trying to, you know, give you guys breaks. So, again, it's so serious out there. Don't you want to laugh? Yeah. Marcus has always. been waiting for this makeover. <laughs> hey, well, Marcus is actually, like... He's been dressing horrible. Because, you know, on purpose. No, it's because, honestly, I'm, I'm have clothes coming from overseas. Yeah. So, everything's taking a fuck tongue. She taking in? a fuck tongue to get here. What? She in? No. I don't do fast fashion. 
Mm-hmm. Actually, I do specifically I, I, slow fashion. I had a very serious conversation with the woman who is in charge of this makeover, yeah. and she's not going to make me look like the fool that you want me I'm to not, look I like. I never said I was going to make you look as a fool. I, I never heard said the this. words. I heard the words Top Hat Willy Wonka Steampunk many times. It's called Wonka Core, <laughs> and you don't understand because you're not on TikTok. I think you'll look, I mean, Shamala, everyone loves him. Yeah, but he's 20 years younger than I am. Yeah, well, it's fine, yeah, but that's why you look better. Timothy Shamalama Ding Dong is a fucking Nepo baby who's got a pinch face. He's only doing this shit because he's skinny. Look is at him. Is he a Nepo baby? He's something. He he's made a lot of money. Baby. I he's think he's just summer in France. He's rich. He's he, definitely rich. Yeah. He said that he based his character that, where he ate all the cum. He, he based that character off for his summers spent in Italy in his family's fucking Italian chateau. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Is yeah, that whatever? Shirt saran wrap? He's Fine, okay. He's doing very well. He's in Dune. You like Dune? You're going to go see I know. Dune. I know. And I he like was good. In Dune. I'm going to see ahead of time. I'm going to see David Lynch's Dune this week. I'm mm -hmm. I'm fucking full of Dune. We're going to have new episodes of LPN Deep Dives Dune. Where we're going to review the new movie. You're going to be doing X Tina X. Have you been watching the True Detective Night Country? Yes, absolutely. Rock and roll. It's very good. Fucking. Two thumbs up. The last episode was fucking great. Oh my god. Abramalin and says I got my cat's ashes back tonight. Snort them. Hell yeah. Get up in that. Man. <laughs> Chop it up, yeah. Ozzy baby. I don't know if anybody's noticed in True Detective Season 4, this newest season, there's a lot of callbacks to Season 1. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's Tuttle, Spirals. It's all there, people. It's, do I, you think we're going to get McConaughey in the no, last episode? No, 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 no. He I said he think, would never go back there. Yeah. I don't think that there is... I don't think they're actually calling back. I think that they are literally just dumb. Or just not super original. But they're great. It's a great show. Yeah, I mean... You but know, I don't think it's an actual callback. I think it is. I, I think mean, it's different got a regions. Mom and it. It's got one the was, swirl. One was Louisiana. One is Alaska. They're yeah, very but, different. But what they're say, what they're trying to say is that the Tuttle Corporation, that was the villains in season one, have far-reaching tentacled fingers, and that there's much going on. I think what they're doing is they're actually setting up some sort of like umbrella corporation thing, like in Resident Evil. All right, that'd be fucking great. I'm fine with it. I'll see it. You sound like you don't like great. it. I like it. I think you it's sound good. Like you think it sucks. I like the other woman in it. What's her name? She's good. Jodie Which Foster one? or the one? The with other the, one. The one with the. Uh, the other one. Yeah, she's great. She's great. I haven't learned her name yet. I love the show. Someone tell us. Navarro. Who. Detective yes, Navarro. Navarro. Yeah, Detective Navarro. Navarro yeah. now, Evangeline. But yeah, what's her real name? Well, let's watch the show. This next one, first thing I want to do before we begin is just like I need to look. First of all, you're watching us here. We're vamping. Top of the last stream, and you know we try. Every day. When we come to these studios, right, when we come to this rarefied air, what we're trying to do is enlighten you. We're trying to put a smile on your face because we know there's a war in Ukraine. Is there? Yeah. When? Yesterday. I, they're wrapping it up soon, though. We got um, elections. <laughs> we're super excited. I got my ballot. I'm going to yeah! yeah. Yeah. I can't fucking. I can't fucking wait. Prop yeah. one. Yay or nay. What is it? I'll learn about it. I'll spend a day. I always right. spend one day learning yeah. about the government, and then yeah. I'm back off to idiot land. But we come here. <laughs> we come here every day with a new, a renewed sense of making content. But at the same time, sometimes we fail you, and we want you to know. So we show you this first video. You understand of what we're here to do, and and how I feel when I feel that we have fallen short. I want to ask you something, and oh, I want guy. you to be honest with yourself. Only the people who thought about what I'm about to say comment. If you comment some horse shit, I'm not going to take you serious. Fuck Please. yeah. Yeah. If you comment some dumb shit, I'm not going to take you serious. Thank you. Amen. Amen. But I really want you to ask yourself, did I fail you as a creator? Or did y'all fail me as followers? <laughs> And I think about that every day I make comedy. Yeah. yeah. Did I yeah. fail you as a comedian? Mm -hmm. Or did you fail me if, as an audience member? If one of you called me Patrick Starfish one more time. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's important for you to know because like these are content creators. And yes, that man has no collarbone. I don't think bones, period. No. He is a, that is a thumb. Yeah. yeah, he, he looks like he was dropped off a building. Do you remember the things? You remember the uh, that what was it? The thumb thumb wrestlers, the characters that were like ah, oh yeah, the yeah. Ah, oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. tongue guy, the little tongue guy, the, ah, 
like the things that you get in a supermarket. Uh, but it was like a commercial. The finger puppets. It was a commercial with the tongue where you go ah, and then the little tongue went ah, like you could talk, you could see, he could make a face. Same guy, huh? Same well, face. But again, how was that guy failing you? That guy's entertainment just said, look how. Did fucking you read the comments? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give them the fucking credit. I wouldn't give the commenters the credit of no. looking at it and spending that energy because I realized that creator was right. How could how could we be disappointed with him? Even because he is literally clay. He looks He's like, clay yeah. face from he Batman. He looked like he was poured out of his mother. He yeah. might have been. <laughs> and he should be allowed to do so. And that's what our healthcare in this country should be trained to do. Uh, As in the slacking off says, I didn't know necks could be uncircumcised. Yes, right. and that's what's yeah, nice is more sensation. Yeah. It Let definitely me ask you make this. me feel good. Does he have no neck or does he have no head? Ooh. Is he is that just neck? Yeah, is that just face? neck all the way up? That's I think his neck is so wide because it's built in to swallow his own bullshit. Am I right? Yeah. Whoa, you didn't watch the rest of his put content. Me, put right the comment. You didn't watch the right. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't give in. Don't give it to the hate train. <laughs> all right? Because that man is out there bravely making stuff even though he is pudding. Okay, and we are the ones that make pudding content here, not him. Yeah. All right, so actually, I do have to attack. Do you think he could get those sunglasses off his face? I think that he was born with them. I think that those are his those are his lenses. So they literally are like they protect his his the soft eye meat from the the entire Hell yeah. the rest of the world. Uh, all right, I got this one. And this is good because this is just solid entertainment. I was a little bit inspired by your man ending this week. Oh man, what, what happened to you? I used that sandwich right. I'm I, fine. My, my like, sandwich was bigger. You know no, what happens? No, but he ate his sandwich in like three minutes. Was, and that yeah. sandwich and was massive. And it was massive. all pork and I had turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And I then I went right to, I did a mini nap right before the stream and I laid down and then I made all the food kind of rest. Yeah, I paced around a bunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I Got really sweat it out. You did the thing where like a chicken where you ate a bunch of rocks and we're like, huh, 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 <laughs> and you let that fucking food slide down your to your penis. You think Barack Obama was named by a chicken? <laughs> Barack. <laughs> God, hey, my boys. <laughs> my boys. Yeah. Let's watch this Barack. last video. Barack. <laughs> this is just a bear fight. Yeah. I literally just found a bear fight. Fucking bear fight. Wow, I've never yeah, seen a bear fight. Watch this shit. They get wild. Ooh. Yeah, this is fucking awesome. Is this the end? I guess this is just the end of a bear fight. Well, though. well no, it's like they kind of. This is like a mid position. They're in a grapple right now. I think the ref is going to come in at some point. Oh no! Watch. He's, He's up in the juice. Down. Yeah, dude. Going yeah, to drown. Oh my god! Oh, that, he got a. Got out of the hole though. Yeah, dude, this is Eddie oh, and damn, he's all ripped up. He's all wrapped up. Yeah. He's all ripped up. This is fucking sweet. This is a big fight. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is awesome. Oh yeah. He's got oh he's he's about to reverse the hole. Yeah. They're trying, what they're trying to do is figure out who's gonna get the next there he is. late night bear show on television. <laughs> yeah, alright. Sometimes when back you're in a bear one. fight, you gotta take a couple moments off, you know, regain your energy did so you, you can get up and get back up. Yeah, I man. almost showed a bunch of street brawls that were just like this, where it's just two fat men fighting each other, but then they just get tired. A minute in. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to fight. Yeah. Oh no, fighting's ridiculously hard. Sleazy Dad, Woo! can I pet that dog? Back up can't in it. That dog. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Look at this. Man, this is cool. Dough. Damn. No, bears are strong, dog. They're fucking biting each other's lips off. I've been playing, I'm watching a lot of Alone recently. Yeah? And that shit's just like, because they're super scared of the bears, but then some of them want the bears because that's how you eat for a bunch of months, is that you can stab the bear and then you get it because you need fat with the protein. Like, that's like a big deal. Yeah, and you turn it into a coat, too. You yeah. can get the coat, you can do stuff with the, the you can do stuff with the paws, you can turn those into gloves, you can turn the face into a bowl, you can turn the dick into a flute, you can turn the butt into a chair. Like, there's so much stuff you can do with, a, with an entire bear if you get a hold of it. So when you said you were watching alone, I just pictured you staring at yourself in the mirror on the toilet. <laughs> I have to show you this picture. I was at the Earl in Atlanta, and obviously a lot of cocaine is being done in there. Oh yeah, but it's a great establishment. Honestly, love that place. Earl of Sandwich? No, no, no. Just called the Earl. It's just a place. You know, it's not it's a good, whole sandwich. It's, it's a good place. It's a good, good place. place. It's great. Yeah. It's fun. We did our first show in Atlanta there. I mm -hmm. remember the people got uh, shot to death behind us. Yeah, I vaguely remember that because that's happened like three or four times at our live shows. It Portland really has happened. People got a lot. shot. In Detroit people got stabbed. That yeah. guy got stabbed. In Oakland, that dude got stabbed, and then the other dude got bit. 
Yeah. Because remember, the dude got like seriously bit before a live show in Oakland, and then the dude got stabbed to death right after. As our live show was letting out, a guy was getting stabbed to death, and then another guy got shot. That's cool. There's a lot of chaos just surrounding these live shows. Hey, man, it's just it's this country of ours. Right, a lot of stuff going on. I don't but think it's us. Yeah, it, it, it's almost it, like things happen in Oakland and Detroit and Atlanta. Mm. And Oakland was one of those places where it's got such a, it's such a cool place and it's such a nice like kind of hippie vibe. But you kind of also sort of for, you kind of forget that what the city is. And I remember there was a weed dispensary I wanted to go to that was like twenty five minutes like out away from the hotel. I was like, oh, I'll walk. And I was like walking. And I was like, oh, and I have my Jordans on and all my kind of shit. And all of a sudden, I, I like those. looked up and I was just like, oh. Oh no, like I was in a bad place. And all people, but honestly, very friendly, mm -hmm. dangerous looking people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Extremely friendly. No one robbed me. No there one pushed go. me down. No Better one came all York. over my back. Slacking off says, my friend worked on a loan talking to the people who tap out, and one of the guys still calls my friend when he's lonely. Oh, I would love to actually nice. talk with that dude about stuff because I'm fascinated with that show alone. I love that show. I don't know how it works. I don't know how far away the base is from where they are alone. And they all are out there just fucking, it is, that's an intense show. It's a yeah. helicopter right away. But that's well, how long is a helicopter ride? Technically, I could probably. 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. You can cover a lot of ground on a helicopter in 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. yeah. But That's why they used it in Vietnam. Six clicks. You know. 12, 20 clicks. Yeah. I thought click I thought clicks is just how many boys have to die <laughs> on your way. Like how many dead boys are laid down between you and there because of the fucking war, man. <laughs> war dog. <laughs> it's fucked up. Master DJ says, You're always a victim, Henry. My God. What does that even mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What did I do? What do you mean he's a victim? I'm fucking incredible. You don't look like a victim. No. No. I look it's, like a perpetrator. Yeah. It's not like you uh, were mugged <laughs> several four times. times. Four times in New York. I was. <laughs> you guys fucking don't know. You guys are all full of shit. I think twice you were just kind of roughed up, though. No, well, he was, I was mugged four times and then roughed up innum a innumerable time. amounts then of Then I got time. beat. Uh, then I just got punched in the back of the head. Yeah. So, it reminds and me, I still owe someone money for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll send you my therapist bill. Yeah. Let's um, let's look at this next video. Now, this is just kind of cute, but also funny and weird, and, and content, and internet. I want to see the most exotic dog, a golden retriever wiener. Look at this. Oh. Look at the shape oh. of this dog. Oh my god, I'd love to have that dog. I'd love yeah, to have I yeah. know, but the dog probably got a lot of joint issues. What? No. So it doesn't deserve to be loved? Yeah. No, I'm just saying chop off its legs. But I hate when people are like that. Oh, don't get a St. Bernard. It's got a big heart. It's going to die. Who would it win? So what? We fucking throw rocks at it now? He's coming hard on this. <laughs> I never said didn't do it. I'm just saying it would have joint issues. No, He's like, I just, oh, bulldogs, they, they snort too much. They, they can't just breathe. Got, they have joint issues. If you what, depends I can't on, hug it? It depends on whether or not you have the money to pay for the maybe the many procedures the dog would need. Like Natalia Gray. Grace. Yes, it's just like it. <laughs> Kelly Slay, one of the first reasons of alone, one of the first seasons of Alone, a guy was close to being attacked by a bear, and when he called in, the help said, "We can be there in four hours." Whoa. So that's how far far out there. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're that far out. It just might just be like they couldn't, like they had something else to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, my yeah, kid's they're... recital ends at nine. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's I'm... definitely a first season issue. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because then they realize, oh, we should be closer. Mm -hmm. Because then sometimes if they fall down like a slippery rock face no one dies in these things man i always kind of expect more like why are there, there's never those like why is one person never like die on any one of these big old yeah like challenge shows i'm always surprised maybe, yeah i mean i think it happens and they just never air it you yeah. think they just don't air it maybe they do and they cover it up like yeah. people yeah. drown like nobody drowned on real world no. Do you remember the when Louis Anderson almost drowned on Celebrity Diving? Yes. No mm -hmm. one has died on the History Channel reality show alone. However, there have been several medical emergencies. Yes, of course, because then they have to call because they're noticing. I think they watch the footage every night. I think the producers get the footage and they send them and they look at it because somehow they know when they need to be medically pulled. Because mm -hmm. sometimes they get too skinny or they're covered in bugs. I mm -hmm. imagine they got live feeds or whatever. Yeah. I know uh, Tom York almost died on an episode of MTV Beach House. Oh, yeah. 
Really? Yeah, after a performance of Creed. Of course he almost died at a beach house. <laughs> Only a member from Radiohead would die in the most like relaxing, cool, fun place. That's how pale he is. Like, Sorry, there was uh, there was too much laughter. I almost withered. No, he was. Uh, they were performing Creep, and after the show, he jumped in the pool. But the problem is that you know it's like 1994, 95. He's wearing Doc Martens, so his Doc Martens immediately filled with water, oh. and he just fucking sank to the bottom. <laughs> and yeah, death yeah. by grunge. <laughs> and they had to jump in and save him. Well, TV, TV producer Terrence Woods vanished while filming on the Gold Rush franchise for Discovery and has never been found. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. That's a good story. Is that about. awesome? I mean, you Tell know. Tell that to his fucking daughter. I'm just saying for content. <laughs> For the show, it's awesome. <laughs> the show, it's good. Yeah. The show, it's great. Yeah, TV yeah. mysteries. Yeah, because that's what's fun. Mm -hmm. It's again, it's good for Gold Rush because it helps people pay attention to Gold Rush. Yeah, it's bad for everybody else, but we're not talking about them. All right, this isn't Oprah. He probably found a bunch of gold and skipped down. That's exactly what he did. Yeah. That dude is fucking somewhere else right now. Yeah, yeah. He's probably fucking, yeah, he's living in Bavaria, having a great time. I found a gold. It's all mine. I'm getting out of town. A 38-year-old man died of natural causes during a taping of the TV show Wipeout last fall. Yes, I remember this. The LA County Coroner's Office has determined he did die, but then what they did, someone had, because I talked with somebody from the set, guy had a heart attack on set. They did the Disney thing where they pulled him off set and didn't yeah. declare him dead until he was no longer on Netflix. Uh, insured property. Nice. And that's called smart producing. Yeah. And you have to remember, the guys remember that. If one of us dies, give me off property. You got to get yeah. us off property. You take us over I'm to the, take us fucking, I don't know, Universal. Again, yeah. dump it on Universal. Mm -hmm. That'd be a great, I'd love to die at City Walk. Slippery Tit says, I almost died during Marcus's last mandate. But again, we are not culpable for this. Nope, not yeah. at all. And I don't take responsibility for that because they didn't say that I was responsible for that. Maybe they just almost like were watching the shower and I slipped in the shower. That's actually, uh, that's completely doable. Also, you got to stop pulling your laptop in the shower. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you're just, you're going to get hurt. All right, here we go. So we do this next video. I love this one because it reminds me of NASCAR. I love this musical, by the way. I don't even know. It doesn't make me relax. But. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Saylor with Van Every Family Chiropractic Center. Mm. I'm Dr. Laura Van Loon with Van Every Family Chiropractic Center. They're not going to. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a tandem adjustment. And by that, what we mean be, is it's, it's a couple adjustment to make sure that they're balanced as much as possible to each other, and to that it improves their communication and just their energy levels. I almost so, got And how long you guys been married? Since uh, Easter. Dr. Brock, and this, this is Chuck. We've been married 31 years this year. Fuck it. Hi. So Chuck's you ready? Ready. All right. Chuck's Hold hands. <laughs> like, this is just all they do. Watch this. They pay for this. This is nothing. This is literally what they do. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Dr. Sale, you're adjusting Barbara's needs and... Dr. Van Loon is doing cock Yeah. What the living fuck? It looks and like they're changing the tires. And they're fucking Emotionally, around. physically, the reaction of each other to each other. It's one of the beautiful to freedoms this that KST allows us. You gotta find some way to fill your day. Is this, 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 your day. Is this what's supposed to happen to buy some penny on there? things with each patient, but we can also work on emotional things God, with each they patient. They should be giving this money to their grandchildren. The <laughs> no, man, that's not fair. That's... <laughs> You know, you know that's a new bro. Whoa! Hey! Hey! hey whoa! Whoa! Okay, let me do a tits. <laughs> let me do a tits. Come on. Nugget fucker eight thousand says porn storylines suck these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks look like you're in the pit. What is the point of this? Come. <laughs> they don't. They're never, No one's coming. <laughs> One of the other interesting yes. coincidences. Ted Daddy says it's like watching old footage of what they thought future doctors would do. The interesting coincidences is too often as we're tandem adjusting, they're both all set at the same time. So. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. All of your outfits cost twenty dollars together. Yes. <laughs> well, this is. Have you seen this? That's the new like. Uh, was it boomers? Where they're saying boomers with money. They're like they're like sending out messages in their weird little hate-filled like blogospheres that they're on about like if you have extra extra money, spend it. Don't give it to your ungrateful grandchildren. I mean, I'm like wow. literally like that. telling them to burn out the cash. Wow. Which is honestly why we have a new uh, adventure here at uh, LPN. We are selling. Brand new 
shower assistant stools. <laughs> I think that's the thing that we should do is Brandon yeah. move towards these money yeah. spending very, very old people uh -huh. and like convince them, number one, that like maybe like Grim Reaper decoys. Yeah. Like that you can put up a Grim Reaper shower style, buddy. like a mannequin that looks just like you. Like yes. how about this, but it's got a butt plug on it and it's got a pentagram on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Henry's <laughs> face is going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and then also we set up mannequins that look just like you so that the Grim Reaper takes them... Great idea. ...instead of you. And we'll fill those mannequins with your blood. Yep. 150 bucks. I wonder what the margin is on this. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this is where we need to go. Yeah. If we go into this, like, look, you people. I love would love this. I want a shower stool. Yeah, but yes. it's a, your life starts to end the day you buy one, right? Of course, it's like yeah. one of those things. Like, it's a great thing to have, but like the first time you sit down in the shower and you wash yourself, it's like, yeah, that's everything's it. over. Yeah, no yeah. sex happens anymore. Yeah. Uncle Sherry says if you turn the shower chair upside down, you can fit four people. Yes. Oh, I know yeah. that joke. Yeah. yeah. You know what we could do for old people? We could get the plastic uh, toilet cushions that make the little noise when you sit down on them. Oh. You know, I love those. I also those feel like... Those are very grandma thing. Yeah. There's got to be a thing that, like... All right, so, like, old people want to fuck. That's fine. Now they got yeah. the drugs they can fuck. We got the stuff now, like, old grandma's got squirt lube, and then mm -hmm. they got he's got Viagra. They can do the stuff. There's got to be something also. The problem is, which I'm discovering, is I'm low on cardio recently. Ooh, that's look at that. That's, that, 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 no, no, that's, that's a much. gentle that's a landing. Lot. That's too much. That's too much. That's a yeah. No, look at that. I kind of like that because then your, your toes dangle. I like just a little bit. Your no. toes would dangle. But that's, yeah, the thing. that's you, what I like about You them. shouldn't have cloth oh, near see, the toilet. Look. Yeah, no, that's different because no, that's like an attachment. Yeah, That's not an actual seat. I'm talking about a plastic seat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a plastic My grandparents seat. had that shit, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Notice my grandparents, too. I kind of like it. I like it big and floofy. I like it's like I'm shitting on an ottoman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then I'm about to unload on Santa's lap. It would be an interesting sensation. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That, I'm saying it's good. But if we do it, like, you know, again, pentagrams. Yeah. We can just slap a pentagram on fucking anything. You know That's what right, I mean? Man. Boom. Done. Get those fucking old people's money until they're fucking dead. The idea is to go get that money before it goes to Newsmax. Wow, I like that. Look at that. That's a That's toilet a, on a toilet. That's wow. an apartment building. <laughs> I love that thing. This is what we need there. for the studio. Wow. Do we Maybe. open up our toilet? I really what's the, like this. What's the dial for? I think it, it's, it tickles your balls. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, feathers that come out. Yeah, yeah what is that? Oh, peepee feathers. Uh, uh, Julia B says LPN branded life alert. I like Ooh. that. That's great. Death alert. <laughs> Whoa, look how big that one is. Wow. wow. Built in hand grip. This is awesome. Because sometimes I'll have a fucking oh, crazy nice. shit. Yeah, like a hand grip. That's sweet. Because <laughs> yeah, going like cause that hand grip literally going like Whoa. Oh, oh, tension control knob. Okay. All right. What is that even? What is tension control knob? It squeezes to make your butt cheeks. <laughs> or what releases them, like, opens them so up. Is that like your sleep number, but it's your shit number? Yeah. yeah. No, That's it's to make it, make it tighter on the toilet. You know, to, so that way you won't slip off. Make it tight, 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 because there's different sizes. How are you as what are you have, going? As we have spoken of in the fucking, in this studio, that toilet that's not 10 feet away from where we sit right now is fucking tiny, yeah. which means that it would need more of attention than Look my this. toilet at home, know. which is normal I actually, size. I've read Look a lot this. of the emails. I know that it's the, the dip is smaller, but I have no problem shitting in it, okay? Because yeah. I have and I do. your I spread my ass cheeks and I do. before I sit but down you specifically, so stay apart you specifically and the falls out. Properly measure your taint this week. I proper I measured my taint in in the manner in which I needed to, which was on the fly. You put me on the spot. Yeah, I and did. So I measured my taint, and guess what, Eddie? Mine's fucking what three quarters of an inch inch longer than no, yours? No, it's like a it's quarter of an a, inch longer than no, mine. Yours, yours is two and a half. His was three and but a half. But I think he was so measuring a full it right. Inch. A full I think inch. I think Marcus is as longer than that. I think that he was measuring too much of his balls. I'm with Eddie. No, no, no. no. Actually, I think I was measuring. Actually, now that I think about it, three and a half is an underestimation. Right. I think, I think it might so be four. too. Mar Rod, can you and Marcus go? And can he watch him measure? <laughs> is it too? Can right, someone so watch? The taint can, is to the crack, not the hole, right? I'm saying the taint is from the very edge of the balls. The once the balls have entered in a plateau, that is when the taint begins, and then it goes right to the very rim of your butthole. Yeah. The so butthole or the crack? The butthole. The, that's if you're two and a half inches, then I don't know what the well, fuck's going on with your body. My butthole's <laughs> at the very bottom of my crack. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Look at it. 
Mine's kind of in the middle. I yeah, mine's, it. mine's pretty much in the middle, too. You're deformed. Yeah. yeah. Julie B says, put your toilet seat down so the women on your life don't fall in and get their guts sucked out. I do that. I'm trained by my wife. No. I'm trained. We have uh, two bathrooms. And also, I also trust mm -hmm. my look wife to look. So they're saying this is, or this is, what are these diagrams? So they're saying, I think one is the taint length. Yeah. On a man. Uh, yeah. And on a woman. Easily. And a natural but those woman, ones are different. Well, in biological, a vaginaed person has a shorter taint than a, a dicked person. Seems a dicked like person has a longer taint. But on the other hand, that, the, the one on the taint. left, the dicked person, that's like, that's, that's when you're erect and your balls have, like, this was not There's drawn no by reason, a doctor. No one's supposed to be erect. I pulled up my balls. That I had like... my wife do it. Yeah, I know you did. You should have Carolina do it, and that's how you'll know. She was looking. That didn't look like balls. It looked like fucking something growing out of a mango. It's because yeah. you haven't seen a, a documentary film in a long time or been around. Yes, Bingus says that will be the next YouTube strike. We're just going to blur that out yeah, when yeah. we do the replay. Is that fine? That should be fine, right? No, everything's no, they, bad now. They, uh, they're getting real. The Disneyfication of YouTube. Meanwhile, like foreskin pullers, I watch five of those videos every day. All right, let's look at this next one. I like you, it. All, you watch five foreskin pulling every, videos every, every day? day. Just to psych myself up. Mm. Just to <laughs> fucking want to live. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just to put on my pants and enter the workforce. Um, Eliza, the labia and the scrotum are from the same embryological structure. It's the dartos muscle that pulls the balls up the dartos what was that i also that the dartos um is actually the um second community you meet in um the finish it <laughs> finish it finish no. it yeah, what's the fucking finish Stila it. stellaris finish. oh god stellaris you're not ready for game. dune man yeah. oh, god. you're not fucking oh, ready bro you're not ready at all you're man. so fucking rusty you're out of practice. just fucking yeah. no it's not that's got nothing to do with dune did you put dentures in your asshole yet why for the fucking sandworm! You're gonna be a sandworm! No, 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 no. You put him in the dick hole. Oh, okay. Alright, let's do this next one. The reason why I chose this one is because <laughs> nobody dies. But this is hard, is that I was gonna choose a bunch. I went in really deep into disasters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them has a, have a lot of live visual death in them. Yeah, because people die in disasters. I know, but they're fun, but it's not if good If you don't to do. see it, see it. No, but they're, they're all, all of them I saw it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see but it. I was so we're like, gonna show that good, now? Not, no, no, this one's nice. Was well, that nice? But... Nice disaster? Watch. Oh, yeah, of course it's a nice. Oh, God. Things will be fine. I don't think it's. Is that electric? No, that's scaffolding. And it's about to come down. She's not putting a lot of urgency on this. She's like mad at him? Well, yeah, he knocked one of the support poles off. He had a lot of room to go, and that was what he decided. That's what, where he hit. You, know you gotta mean? get out of there. Yeah, I don't think that there's a lot of options necessarily, but. Just missed everybody. Whoa. See, that's nice. Whoa. That it's a good one because it just missed everybody. That is a good one. See, yeah. that's why I chose that that's one. That's a real good one. But yeah. I like the tension. The tension's good. Of wondering what's gonna happen, but I'm, I know we can't show death. Because yeah. people get mad. Well, I would particularly, don't particularly, well, I mean, actually, we have been watching this show uh, that's like hidden in the depths of HBO called Autopsy. Have you ever watched it? I, I seem to remember, like, remember, this was like a, isn't it like a, it's technically a Forensic Files? It's a, it's technically Forensic Files, except it's extra, it's the most graphic thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like, it's full on crime scene videos, crime scene photos, it's murder victims on the slab, it's murder victims at the scene. Like, they actually show footage, they do Carla Homolka uh, and um, Paul Bernardo, they show, like, actual footage of the dead body of the sister. Wow. Like, they, sh like they show shit they that They don't blur I it? Yes! No. They, Fuck yes! They show I gotta shit. go home! They <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go! I gotta see this! It's I can't wait till this fucking mandate's over! Yeah. I gotta see this! <laughs> but it's, it's amazing! It's shit that, like, we've I've never seen anywhere. Like, this graphic, like, from crimes that I've, like, studied for, like, months and months and weeks yeah. and weeks. You know, like, shit that I've said. Stuff that, it's just, it's incredible what you can see. But, yeah, it is... The most graphic thing I have 
ever seen. It's called autopsy. It's called autopsy. Yeah. Yeah. At it's least like, it's, it's not it's, called like you know Uncle Jeremy's fun afternoon, <laughs> where you then it sneaks up on you. It's called autopsy. Yeah. It's called autopsy. But you yeah, know? if you're if you're into that stuff and you really if you want to go hard, yes. and I mean hard. If you think like the forensic files doesn't go anywhere near. Far enough. Look at that, that guy's amazing. Man. He no, is, he's just he's a fucking serial killer that managed to monetize it. No, dude, he's amazing. He's the host of every episode. He's like, I got a call from a family out in Massachusetts. Now, who if don't I, believe. I gotta tell 1994, you, 1994. That's why it's so fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the dude. one thing I'll say to you is that it's so nice every once in a while to see an intact pair of breasts <laughs> because you know they're always hacked up. Yeah. They're always turned into some kind of mishmash. Do you, you remember wouldn't... the Surgery Channel? Oh, I love the Surgery Channel. Me and Carolina, love the, the Surgery Channel. Carolina Carolina was were, pretty great. We, we actually look up surgery footage on YouTube because we missed the Surgery Channel. And we just play it on our TV while we're fucking around. Wow. That's great. Good for you. I mean, you find the Is one... it an anxious home? <laughs> when they say here's Benny Walrus, she says, according to the Reddit comments, she, the woman was saying, tell grandma to come fix the pole. It's going to collapse. Oh. Yeah. Go? And also someone brought this up, slacking off. I remember being 14 and looking for porn on HBO and being horrified by that show because it was on late at night. Yeah. Because I do remember looking for real sex mm -hmm. and real sex would between wouldn't always be like it would be like that and real sex. Real yeah. sex was horrifying sometimes. Sometimes it was. Yeah. Real sex. Honestly, I learned a lot. Yeah. yeah, I it liked was that not, show. It was like very it was like horny for five minutes an episode. But then mm -hmm. I get I still but that's all I needed. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, most I really I just needed two curves. I needed a curved surface. Yeah. And I could jerk off to it. Good for you. I'm actually still kind of close to that. That's yeah. nice. Nice. That's good sort for you. Of. I could still look at a belly button. Still get it. Still get you going. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. The stomach's asshole. <laughs> 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 Makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. All right. <laughs> Here we go. So this next series of videos. So one of the things I came up with, so a lot of these videos this week for me are the stuff I had and stuff I kind of been wondering because obviously I was UFO minded and I'm still UFO minded. I got all this fucking shit I can't show you people. But that's fine. We're going to get there. But I did have a pile of really good. I mean, you know, they're fine. They're good. I think these are creepy. We've got some creepy shit. And so what I'm hoping is, is that if you're home right now, all right, I think this is a good time for you to shut off all the lights in your house, um, get a, a bottle of bourbon, all right? I feel like this is the good time Should to sit. Should we wait? Like, yeah. Go get it. Get your fucking bourbon, you sick, silly bastard. You fucking need it. And you shut off the lights yet? Shut off the lights. You want to show off the lights? I say it's time for you to put some headphones on. <laughs> if you have your headphones on, I'm a fucking shit. I'm a shit my fucking pants. Are your headphones on? I'm a, I'm a fucking... I'm sitting in a pile of my blood. There's blood in me. There's blood coming out of me. Uh, is that good? Do you have your headphones on? And Because now I think it's time to get a little creepy. I have some creepy stuff here. And this one, we'll see. We'll see. Obviously, I mean, I don't know if it will fucking pierce the veil of these two hardened intellectuals. Because they are obviously, their skepticism knows no bounds because of all their years of, a bunch uh, of horse shit. working in the scientific <laughs> community. Right? So every single thing, everything's blase to them because they've seen everything. He called us intellectuals. That's nice. Is it really I nice? Guess. You like, but it was an insult somehow? Yeah, it, was. it always is. Yeah. It's never, no one says intellectuals nicely. Yes, they do. No. Yeah. Only yes, they do. Only if they are one. And then that means I don't like you. He's quite the intellectual, isn't he? No, yeah, yeah that means that's always sarcastic. There's no, never, I, I've called, is it like, oh no, he's, he's quite the intellectual. Yeah, but yeah. that means you dislike the person. No. No. You dislike that person. That means like, I want to hear what they're going to say. No, yeah. I don't. I, that's the I like a smart lady. <laughs> I say he's a smart, she's a smart lady. No, 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 it's going to be interesting dinner because he's an intellectual. Yeah, his intellectuals are coming over. Yeah. Oh, good. Ooh. I can't wait to go to Vegas with a bunch of intellectuals. Well, I'm not going to Vegas with anyone. This no, is fucking, I'm, I'm just saying, you guys I hate fucking, Vegas. they suck. I hate Vegas so much. You guys are dumb. You're both stupid. Burn you it, suck. Burn it down. Fuck you. You're too smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch these videos. <laughs> Ooh. Is this a baby cam? Yeah. Look at that fucking ghost hand. So, I mean, it looked like a hand hand. No, it's like if you look at it, it's, a, it's the material. They found this on a baby cam. And they said it looked like a ghost hand going to the baby crib. It, it was like a like whole a, rest of the lead up to that. It didn't really look like a hand. It there looked, was like a there was like a lead up that explained it. 
I yeah. mean, I, I'd say that it, it did look a little like... Uh, look at it. Ectoplasm. It does. If I'm coming on your side. <laughs> But it does sort of like no, because in the on the actual full video, it like explains about how they had you know they had set this in, how they were creepy. hovering above it, and they put this little thing down. No, there. it's good. People you know, it see weird like, shit in baby camps. Did you ever uh, play Booger Man? No, on uh, Sega. On, oh, I thought that was like a oh, game. That was like that, a game you play with your buddies. Yeah, I thought that his buddies all <laughs> yeah, just tortured yeah, yeah. him. Put a bunch of stats on the table. It's like, oh, yeah. hey, how close can Casey you get to like? Casey thinks that that is a ferret. <laughs> Ooh, it's a ferret. Yeah, Booger, Booger Man. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he would, looks uh, cool. The whole game was uh, booger based, and there was a lot of you know boogers that you you throw and sure. you stick to things, and you know, boogers would come down. And it, it looked like Booger Man. He looks like our buddy from earlier. Yeah, he does. Yeah, which one? The, the guy one with, with no the, neck, the thumb man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, he yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. now that he's retired from being Booger Man. <laughs> um, Henry, you need See? to watch Mountain Monsters on Discovery. It's about these fat bearded rednecks searching for various cryptids, but every episode it goes off the rails. Shoddy camera work, fake monster attacks. That's great. Yes, I will absolutely watch that. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Nice. Um, this next one I like. Because what it, what, tell us about that. What happened? It was a couple. I was trying to explain. It's a couple went to the news to say that they saw something creepy on their baby monitor. Mm -hmm. They sent it into Coast to Coast AM. And that was on Coast to Coast AM. And they just said, we saw a weird, creepy ghost on a baby monitor. And I thought it was creepy. What it was creepy. What was George Norrie's uh, response to well, it? Hey, tell me. Uh, uh, why, will she be there Friday night so you can go bowling? <laughs> Isn't that nice to get a hard babysitter? It's unreliable these days. Zoomers are lazy, and they are manipulating the polls. Um, Christine Chubbuck says, as a child, I was taken aback by how much Booger Man relied on farts. That's a dark username, Christine. That's very dark. Why? Christine Chubbuck was the woman who uh, shot herself on air. Oh, oh right. yeah. I was a fun movie. Yeah, that, super that was a fun great movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, super, yeah, super fun, fun movie. You know, can I tell a quick story? Yeah. I yeah. went and saw that movie over at the Museum of the Moving Image in, yeah. uh, in Queens, and then the director was there, and afterwards there was like a, a talk back and stuff, and there, there was this guy there, and he's just like this old dude, and he raises his hand, and he calls on him, and the guy's like, yeah, you know, I was watching your movie, and I gotta say, uh... She didn't look that sad. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, she didn't seem that sad to me. And I don't think she was going to kill herself. The guy's Graves, like, well, Graves, actually, Graves. a lot of times when uh, people, like, kill themselves, they're actually relieved before they do. He's like, no, nah, I don't nah. think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. You know, that's so funny. <laughs> no, that guy. Oh, and then the guy's talking about how they were, like, looking for funding for the movie and trying to get it released and stuff <laughs> like that. And then the guy, the same dude, is like, 20 minutes later, raises his hand and they call him. He's like... So you say you're like you got a bunch of money from these guys, you know, but like I go see movies all the time all over the city, you know, and like I ain't seen this movie playing nowhere. Yeah. You know? yeah. So like <laughs> how are you gonna get those guys their money back? Yeah, I love this guy. <laughs> like, I love this guy. Yeah. Oh, he's a plant so from the, he's a plant from another film. Because there was two Christine Chubbuck movies. Yeah. 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 And so there's Christine the scene was good. Yeah, yes, Christine he's a plant from the other movie. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I miss Queen so acutely. Yes. Uh, I, I, miss I, miss, I miss New York. It's like today, like it was like snowing in New York. Like our buddy Logan like sent me a gloating video. Yeah. Like, ha -ha, you miss this, you fucker. I'm like, yeah, I do. I hate yeah. snow. I'm yeah. that then then you lose me. But I miss Queens. I miss my mm -hmm. fat idiot. The first day of like, snow's fun. You, Yes, yeah. and then when it turns the black soot, that's the next what it's day. Yeah, that's awful. The next day. Yeah, but yeah. I do miss today's snow. Yeah. Right, we got a lot of show. We got a lot of show to get through. All right, <laughs> let's do we? We got a lot of show. Look, at, look take a look at this next one. <laughs> Very mysterious. So this guy noche, la plaza ya se cerró. thought he heard a noise. That he's working at night security at this restaurant. It's like a turkey cheese. Yeah, and he heard. Buenas a... noches. So he's saying like, who's there? Good night. Oh. Ya se cerró la plaza, joven. Buenas mm, noches. It's very Here Five listen. Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yeah. This is a Chuck E. Cheese? Whoa. This one's good. Yeah. Well, noche ya se cerró. You couldn't find it. Wow. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's that was a good creepy. One. That's a very good one. Yeah, it's creepy. That's I, like that I actually got kind of chills on that. No, one. I yeah. love that. I like baby noises. Yeah. When yeah. they're dead. But not when they're alive. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's no way that someone just like brought a kid. Hey, you fucking Yeah, he's just too wise. <laughs> yeah. He's just too wise. <laughs> yeah, no good fucker eight thousand dude is in the back rooms. Do you know about back rooms? No. Have you, are you into this, Gurney? I see you smiling. Yeah, yeah, Rob's into back rooms. Back rooms is this, like, how do you how do you describe it? It's a liminal space. Like, isn't the idea that there's a reality beyond our reality, and then the back rooms are seen in the, on the internet? It's like a thing. It's this idea that like it's like the DOS of reality. Yeah, it's like the operating system. You can oh, just okay. sort of fall and you, you fall into another reality that's the kind of rooms. empty. It's stuff like this where it's like, do you remember how Doom? Used to have like bad maps or like you'd leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that's a great idea. James Wan is directing side. a backrooms movie. I would love that. Oh, yeah. This stuff is very, it's very quote unquote spoopy. Like, Ooh, this cool. is very like yeah. internet horror y, where you're like, you go through these like weird liminal spaces that are, it's fun. I like, that's like one of those things where like, obviously, it's very. People make fun of it for being quote unquote fake, but it's it's one of those things. It's two o'clock in the morning and you're alone yeah. in a hotel on the internet. It's actually mm -hmm. very creepy. Uh, it's cool. I, I like the backroom thing. That's my favorite stuff. Like I try to get into that headspace, but it's hard because then you bring it out and you do want to show people right and like and get people have people be creeped out. But then you realize like, oh no, I was just stoned alone in the dark at three o'clock in the morning, and it's hard to give that feeling to people. Except mm -hmm. for drugging them. <laughs> like literally arriving in their home and kidnapping Just them. Just dosing yeah. them, yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only way. But otherwise, that'd be cool. I wish I could. Just for entertainment value. George Lawrence, Henry, you were right about Skin and Marink, and I'm sorry for doubting you. Thank you. Dude, not what the a fuck's film. wrong with these people watching not this goddamn movie? Literally not a film. Yeah, it's not. It's unusable B-roll. Yes. The entire movie. There is no dialogue. There is no scenes. There There's are barely no breathing. Actors. Melissa Z. It's like purgatory but carpeted. That's what they call the bark room, the dark rooms, which is really great. Yeah. Uh, Dream Cheese. I'm a 3D animator if you want to let LPOTL backrooms video. I absolutely do. I want cool. one of these so bad. I want one of these. And it's nothing but tiny toilets. We should have done this before we moved into the studio. Honestly, that'd be cool. Wow. I love empty stuff like this. I used to go out and hang out when we were working on our back garage and it was all gutted. It was so creepy. I used to go out and look at it in the nighttime and get all creeped out by myself. Fuck yeah. Just looking at it. But it was just an empty house. But I still would, go, I would always imagine something creepy happening. In we used to go to construction sites and pee in the houses while they're being built. That was kind of fun. Yeah, it does sound like a lot you of fun. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> you little fucking bastards. Fucking build houses in my neighborhood, you Ooh, piece of shit. <laughs> That's where I used to go and make it with my girlfriend. You. <laughs> really? Yeah, when when we we would go park and the were the constructed when they were making a new housing development and we used to park behind there and get the whole Squishy, 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 squishy. Woo, man. Come. Rock and There we go. Uh, Trashly, I just watched Creep for the first time, and I need more found footage Rex. I need you to look at um, look at Hell House LLC. I love those films. I was not impressed. Because I, I like it better because I like haunted houses, but I liked it. I liked the uh, the... The origins, the newest ones, the, very yeah, good. Origins was great. I love the Origins. Uh, also, if you're the for me, the best found footage film of all time is a uh, wreck. Uh, oh, wreck is great. Wreck is and Grave Encounters too. Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. That's, that's what I was trying to think of. That's a good great. one. Yeah. yeah. Very, very oh, good. and uh, no, the best one is the Korean one. Um, Gojim Haunted Asylum. Gojim Haunted Asylum. Well, that's a normal movie. That's a normal. Movie. That's a, a straight that's up found narrative film, still, right? It's a narrative. Or film. I guess it well, it's a uh, streaming, so it's like a kind of narrative. I did like uh, found footage, but yeah, it's fucking very good. Woo. Woo. Very very good. Um, well, here we go. Wow, we do almost get through all my videos. I don't know if we're gonna get through them. We'll see what happens. Let's watch this next one. Now this one is more high strangeness. Okay. Are the Russian elite something more than just human? This is all things creepy. This is Let's stuff begin. I watch all day long. At a musical event in a Russian nightclub hosted by and for the elite, the Ooh, entrepreneurs, supermodels, people of very high value in Russia, a technical malfunction revealed some quite disturbing footage. Suddenly, as the band was performing, all lights were cut out, and what was glowing. seen in those brief moments of darkness has horrified witnesses. 
As you can see, clearly the some of the audience point. members have glowing eyes. And apparently, this snippet only showed a few of these members. That's it. According to those who witnessed this firsthand, a majority of the crowd had these same glowing eyes. So yeah. what exactly is going on here? Of course, at first you might assume it's some kind of hoax, it's CGI, but no. there are a lot of witnesses. Yep. Sergei Shnurov and his band were playing when this happened, and Very reliable. according to him, the incident was so, so unsettling that they immediately stopped playing and left. <laughs> That shows how he's, he's haunted. Look at the eyes glow. Away. This is big. Doctor Nine, tell the retina and drugs make your pupils large, maybe. Yeah, or they got the contacts on that make them all shiny and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that works. It's like light, light coming in. I'm waiting for my research to come back on that. I don't know. I mean, there is a guy with a British accent telling us all that. That's how my research. Machines, androids of some sort. And of course, the religious world instantly jumps to demonic activity. Mm -hmm. But is there perhaps a more logical explanation? No. Gator As we know, people. these are there is the elite. These no. are people that have access to a wide range of technologies that common we folk like me and you most likely Incredible. will never experience in our lifetime. One of the models who witnessed it guy knows even claims about. that people there were telling her about some kind of stem cell research. Yep. Yeah, I trust her. Hey, you got lifespan to. And you got to. Side effect of this She's a Russian billionaire's girlfriend. Eyes. Of course, right, some of the most honest people I've ever met. Testament. See, that's it. It's longer than that. It's like a 20 minute long video. Well, you know, like when you're in Florida and you, you take a flashlight to a lake and you see the it's gator, gator eyes. Yes, but humans don't have gator eyes. Unless they're reptilian. Exactly. Do you think that the Russians have reptilians? If anybody does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the reptilians. Draconians. Were they to be real, mm -hmm. have infiltrated every phase of upper society in every country all over the world. The black nobility. Grady, Henry, I have some several videos of live demonic possession on Turkish news. I will need them to you. Email them to you. Yes. Give them to me. Thank you very much. Advertise horse cock, life hack, crack a glow stick to replace your contact solution. Mm. But you don't need to do that if you are a draconian, my friend. You don't have to do it. Um, uh, Saul Arasaka says, the infrared light from the camera getting picked up by the sensor, they probably had contacts on. Um, smell probably light, and I'll believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nine, he's right. You've ever it's seen contacts. a video of the crackhead running naked with the glowing eyes? Interesting. Same effect. Retinas reflect eye light. And big old pupils let it shine through. Again, yeah, show the, me. Show where me on the, the ravers graph. at? Where are ravers at? Yeah, I, I, I've been looking, I've been, this. I need to talk to more ravers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cyber goths. Cyber goths know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, they yell when they speak usually. Yeah, yeah. but so do like, I. So. What's going on, Terraria? So we sad enough to dance yet? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now look at this next one. This one just frightens me. This one I did not know was possible. Last but not least, ah! 35 I weeks. I want to thank me. Look at this. Look at the size How of that. How many she got in there? Three. I want to thank Good me for Lord. doing all this hard work. See that thing, man? I want to thank me for having oh no Oh, my days God. Off. Yeah, dude. See how big that is? For, That's for three full-size children. That's crazy, dog. How is she alive? To give They're gonna have, I, I think they cut those out. Thank me for they have to, to right? Because right? her vagina is about to just be no, but after the blasted. After the first one goes, though, the next two are come real easy. What? By grabbing the ankles of the first one? <laughs> Like, I don't think it works out like that. I don't think it does Damn. that. No, it's after the, because it widens up, and so her hips are already going to be flipping, we and her vagina's already going to be big enough. I so don't just, know. Hmm, hmm, I think it come babies. up. I think it come out the butt. Because that's what my mom said, is that I was the third one. Each one was easier than the last. I and imagine, that, and, but it wasn't and in was, a row. And that was four years after my brother, so imagine if it was all three at once. She could have been fisted a lot that summer. God, I hope this woman's okay. Oh, you're talking about Marcus's? Oh, I see what happened there. I mean, I was... Yeah, I had nothing to do with it. I'm new here. The whole banana. What summer was it? 82? 82. 
1982. Well, no, it would have been 81. No, I was born in January of 83, so it would have oh, okay. been the yeah, summer, it was the summer of 82. Hey, man, it was big. Huey Lewis and the News was big that year. Eliza, you want to see something? Look up fourth degree tear. Don't and change labor. the subject. <laughs> 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 yeah, Big Herb says it's crazy how cum can turn into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it really is. Ain't we just a crazy? Uh, ain't life crazy? Just one cum. One. Well, I mean, three. How do you count cum, really? I count it as one load. One load. Well, this is my question. When they, when triplets are. That's three different cums. Well, that's three different sperms. If you okay, have triplets, here we go. It's how wrong can we be? I love this. <laughs> three eggs, one basket, bunch of sperm. Mr. Everyone Mr. got DGAM lucky. says y'all always have the worst takes on women's anatomy. Uh, I think you're wrong. Not the worst takes. I'm just saying we're creative. I'd say we have the most creative takes. I think it's one. I think what it is, it's one sperm. But then the egg splits into three. So yeah. I think triplets it can is result one from sperm. one zygote, an mm -hmm. egg fertilized by one sperm. Exactly what I just three. said. But does that mean the like the first one's good and the other two are de are bad? They're evil. No, no, no. no. I think if you only one have evil. one main one, and then that one, you which one you know is the main one? Are they born with initials? Yeah, they change. You can check them for sixes behind their ears. Nugget fucker eight thousand. Did you guys ever take a health class in high school? Yeah, thirty five yeah. years ago. I actually didn't. They did. I had, no. I actually don't think I they had did. The worst possible high school education you could imagine. Yeah, really? man. I thought that. I thought you fucked the belly button. My health teacher showed his wife giving birth to his child in our class. He showed the video of it. Wow. So we saw his <laughs> wife's like, yeah, vagina. Nice, yeah. yeah, you see that? She's splitting her right open. Britt Wavy, I sat next to a guy who had quintuplets on a plane. He told me he was in the CIA and that alien abductions will be a cover-up for the rapture. Excellent. Great. Comes working great. Yeah. But you can't get pregnant three separate times, right? Like, let's say you get jammed up with cum three nights in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can one cum from each night make a baby? I think once the first one is flipped. Cum. <laughs> I don't know if you can get flipped again. Cum. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so it's like it's, it's kind of like hmm. Huh. I don't know. We had a set I of triplets in November, and each one came out more ginger than the last, according to Dustin. That's really great. That's nice. Wow. Super fellation is a rare event that involves getting pregnant a second time while you're already pregnant. Damn. It's so uncommon that cases often make headlines. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. So, like, do you have one kid that's, like, two months old and another one that's, like... That just... would be cool. Stagger. Yeah. That'd be cool. And we just got to make sure they come out, out in the right order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Genghis Tron, we had to watch our bus driver give birth for health class. Is that real? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Is that fucking real? <laughs> yeah, it gave birth to a Honda. <laughs> that would be fucking incredible. Ah. All right, how much time are we left? Do we got to, should we do the will you shut off the stream, or should I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 shut off the stream. Eric's, Eric's excited about it. This is also for Marcus. Oh, good. We're so close. I think babies are made by magic, as far as I'm concerned. I think women are incredible. This guy played bass every day during COVID and up until about a month ago to sound down COVID. You know it works. Is he dead? He, this is man as a as an alive man. He's getting in the groove. Being I'm not trying to shame him, but like, what's going on? He's just ugly. That's more than ugly, man. He might have a skin issue or a bone issue. I hear what he's doing. Can you imagine being his fucking neighbor? I was like, if COVID doesn't kill you, I'm gonna kill you. A mask is not. I don't stop. think I hate this as much as you hate it. Yeah, I don't think a great. mask is gonna stop the rain of bullets. Okay, I'm he's gonna bring the thread here. Yeah, and now he's finding the jam again. Yeah, it is getting worse. It's like how much worse does COVID have to be? I think the titty instrument is just a balloon, Melissa Z. This is not. It's as I learn more. About the men in black from you guys, this seems like one of them. You'd be great. Did I play the... instrument for you? <laughs> Phil B is correct. This does not have shit on learning microwave recipes. That was so much worse. Oh! It, it's just the... Shut the fuck up. Hooray Shut for you! Hooray for you! Yay. But he has... 
I mean it. A, th a 1,200 of those videos. Well, he did it every single day. Well, who's playing the sax? That's all. I think that's pre-recorded. I yeah. don't think so. It's because I was listening really. I was listening closely, and the sax sounded like acoustically, like it, it was coming from behind the camera. He might in the have other room. literally played it. I think that he's doing it old school style, where he played a sax tracks. on Drone track tracks. and then played it loud and re-recorded himself. Like I think that he is at most. He's at the top level of not of obnoxious. Mm. He's playing bad saxophone on a stereo as he's capturing the amplifier him playing bass loud all of this could have been plugged in Honestly, no the, one needed to hear any of it the sax was far better than the bass free jazz free jazz but on the other end the drumming wasn't free jazz at all that was no. just a straight up beat you can't you, you can't play a straight beat in free bit free jazz he's that's just one of the good. rules he's not very good i i uh, he's not very good i i think that we should just watch the gump one Last, because this is an um, this is a good one. Um, he does look like Casper. He does look like a strong out Jordan Peterson. He did look like that. He looks like um, Earthworm Jim. Yeah, you know, this is one. Ow. Yeah, I remember Earthworm Jim. Yeah, he does look like him with cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this next one, we'll end on this video and then we'll say goodbye. But this was just an example of like I love the movie Forrest Gump. Yeah, so do we I. Love, we still like it. I, I know that, that it's a boomer fantasy, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But I love Forrest Gump. I love it. But this is this is kind of showing just how close that movie came to being absolutely utterly unwatchable. It became it's really this close. Yeah. And so this is a deleted scene from Forrest Gump. This is real. This is absolutely real. Maybe I could get accepted and go with you. Well, this is real. I'm not what? doing the Maybe. voice. You could come visit me sometime. Music! Tom hears something, he goes, it's a parade! A parade, Jenny! He runs up to it, and it's this awful confrontation, you know of course, is? between Martin Luther King's Civil Rights March and, you know, the authorities. So he goes into the middle of it, not knowing what it is, he just thinks it's a parade, of course. And he's sort of looking around, what's going on, and there's these guys, the cops there have these vicious dogs, yeah. these uh, German shepherds that were trained to, when they let them go, they go charging at the group, uh, the marchers, teeth bared, growling, furious. They're loving it. Tom, of course, as Forrest, sees the dogs, you have a quick flashback of young Forrest holding all these puppies, licking his face, because of course Forrest knows all these dogs too, like he knows everybody. He runs out there just to play with them because he doesn't know anything bad's going on. He picks up a stick, he yells all their names, throws the stick. The dogs are trained to do a beautiful 90 degree quick turn, boom, and race off. He's out there playing with them and he diffuses the whole thing. Comes back in and he apologizes to Martin Luther King for sort of disrupting the parade. Sorry about your parade. They just dogs. They don't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> this close. Woo! This close ah, to that movie. Best picture. They just, they just know. That <laughs> gave me chills. They don't know what they do. <laughs> this close. Like, that this close. Me, and just like. Yeah, it's literally oh, called douche chills, I believe, is the term. Yeah. You watch it and you're like. I've never had those before. I've yeah. never had those before ever. And then yeah, that yeah, moment, yeah, yeah. I was like. <laughs> oh yeah, big herd. There is a sequel novel where Forrest goes to space with an orangutan. I, actually, I called, know that. It's yeah. called Gump and Company, and not only does he go into space with an orangutan, it's an orangutan and Raquel Welch. Doesn't Ooh. he kill a man in the first one? Doesn't he beat a man to I mean, death? Is it Nam? Uh, yeah, but they like they make him more sanitized in the movie. But doesn't he yeah. do like violence in you the first? I mean, book? he is violent. He beats up a bunch of people in the movie. For he generally. does. Yeah, he's a yeah. strong guy. But he doesn't Dead, beat. Eh? Yeah, he doesn't beat a man to death in the movie. We don't know that. We don't I, you know. know. That's the funny thing. I don't remember the book. The Forrest Gump. The book. At all, but Gump and Company just lives in my head. Oh, I yeah. bet. Because it's such an extraordinarily bizarre piece of literature. Yeah, who does this? It's extreme of consciousness. It's so weird. It doesn't make any sense. It just keeps getting stranger and stranger, and he's also older and older. Yeah. And it's it very did like strange. a run, rabbit like, run. There's like two pages of him describing Raquel Welch's breasts. Wow. It's hey. really strange. I spent a year doing it in my head. But guys, this has been last stream on the left. Mm -hmm. This is going to remember. Thank your editor. I want to say that to all of our staff here. I want to say thank you to the editors, Rob, Eric. You guys save our careers every week. Save our behinds. You guys get in there and you make sure, yeah, sure, Robert Zemeckis had a lot of great ideas. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while... So
Okay, it's almost done. Yeah, that's Man. nowhere near the bottom of my balls. Man, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. I just, I fucking hatch my okay, nuts every go. night. I got it. You guys ready? Yeah, how Same big? Length. Holy fucking shit. 16 inches. That's right, baby. Jesus Christ. Fucking. Ah. Drink that in, you fuck. It's like the back rooms. 